This is the S&P 500 one day reading for August 4th, 2023. It's currently June 25th, 2023, 7.42 p.m. Eastern Time. The shuffle file that we're about to play for the August 4th reading was created on June 16th, 2023 at 11.08 p.m. Eastern Time. That's this video right here. So the overall theme and behavior for the day, we have a nullified theme card, which makes it difficult to determine with just the theme card overall direction. Um, the Priestess card is usually a decline card. Sometimes it's a valley with two peaks uh, on either side, um, but, but often it's also decline, um, leaning towards decline in this case. Um, when we take a look at the one month, we have the, um, the Emperor card here on the fourth, indicating an important support level that's highlighted and it looks like we probably met that support level here at the end of the day on the third which is also making me feel like um this strife card here is making me feel like the rally there was there was a rally at the end of the day that continued into here uh into the morning of the fourth uh, we either open around the same level and and then move substantially higher, um, open around the same level as yesterday's close, open around the same level in the pre-market here, and then move substantially higher. We either do, do that or we just gap up and move higher. Um, but there is the halting of a bullish trend um, around, the, around the open. We have the completion of the bullish trend at a high. There's a trade opportunity there, and it'll be at a key resistance level um that on a one day scale at least that we um then break down from with consecutively lower spikes up on the way down there's a notable move to the upside between out of that decline um to the upside between roughly 10 and 11 um maybe maybe even into the like the 11 to 12 o'clock hour where we ha we meet a key resistance level uh, between roughly 11 and 12 or probably closer to 12 there's a key resistance level that's highlighted matter of factly between 11 and one o'clock there with like probably a peak a near overbought peak or crest right around 12 o'clock that we should sell off from um and that'll take us into a low a notable decline into a low there between roughly two and three where we then si rotate sideways it's attempting to establish support we probably go we probably have even lower to go there um, in the last hour, a decline that increases with the momentum moving forward in time. And then right around the close, I'm advised to be cautious. We either have sideways rotation or there's multiple false bottoms there. There's also in the post market, it looks like a failed attempt to break through key resistance followed by a decline through key support. Um, behavior around the highest high, sideways rotation, um, increasing with bearish momentum as we move forward in time and behavior around the lowest low looks like sideways rotation um containing with it in a sharp drop that will stand out on a one-day chart um i'm advised to trade around a, a a period of sideways rotation it looks like near the high and also near the close there o open up a a, a, a short position we'll meet that key resistance first thing in the morning um, and then right around the close, I would probably, you know, as, as, to be prudent, I would probably exit that short position um, around the close there. Uh, hard to determine if we open higher or lower based on the Prince of Swords. The Prince of uh, Swords is sort of like ambiguous. It could go in either direction. Um, but when we do look at the one month, it looks like we have a se severe decline over the weekend. Either that or first thing in the morning and or first thing in the morning on the 7th. Um, but with a big move t uh, to the upside, it looks like we, there's possibility of uh, this being like a lowest low thus far. Is my sense probably a lowest low thus far here on the 7th, um, probably late morning. Um, and then there's a big move that will stand out to the upside, taking us to a peak or crest there. There's a lot of trade opportunity in the midst of the 7th, a scalp opportunity there it looks like. We'll talk about that in a lot more detail when we get into the one day for the 7th. Um, with that said, guys, that's the August 4th, 2023 reading. Uh, let me know what you think by hitting that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. Um, and if you have done so, please hit that like button. Most importantly, my friends, make sure to follow that rule of karma. So important here on the resources tab of our website where we ask you to donate 5% of the profits that you make from the information given freely on this channel. To, to donate it forward to one of these charities, guaranteeing abundance mentality in your own mind, and then 5% of the profits back to the channel, guaranteeing a gratitude mentality in your own mind. 
those are two necessary components of manifestation. Make sure to have a clear conscience. You do that by spending that 90% out of love. As long as you follow those rules, my friends, that's a rule of karma for the channel. The universe will send it back to you tenfold through this channel, my friends. I'll see you guys on the next one.